what you're saying is I have no problem with you independently liking to do something you like into something or you having an interest outside of mine. You're not going to force me but to do I am something not that I don't enjoy. Forced to do something I don't want to do. Unless, of course, you're asking me for a favor. The non-negotiable is just equal respect. I guess you, you could put yeah. that category of equal respect. I don't mind that you watch it, but you're not going to make me watch it. She's ultimately not going to make the sacrifices and the compromises that me, need to be made to make the marriage work. So the marriage is not going to work. So then that leaves you as the man that you have to make those compromises. And now you don't you you are not who you are. You don't do the things that you do. You can't be honest about what you want to do. You're running and you're hiding behind the couch because every time she gets angry, she doesn't respect you more for it. In fact, no. she respects you more for standing up and saying, this is who I am as a person and who I am as a person matters. If you can't deal with who I am in a real sense, in a real place, then we don't we could just not be together. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Um, I was explaining this to somebody the other day. I tell the truth as much as I possibly can. I'm always like one of the things about this is that I admit that I'm flawed, but you're not gonna hear me going, Ty, you know that pimp shit, yo, you know what I'm saying? These bitches, my baby. Because I know I've been got, I've been into a situation. I mean, let, let's be honest, my son is in England. Some and I didn't see that coming, but the, but I also didn't have a lot of information that where I could have figured out that I knew I, I like in retrospect as I gathered the information, it was obvious. It was an obvious, it was an obvious move because, um, the mother, my son's mother, did the same thing to her, snatched her up from the father and took her and. You know, at at her own behest, because it's a selfish thing to do to not have you. But what I would say, what I would say is there's nobody. And I, I can say this with the ultimate of confidence. There's nobody who I have, who I speak to, who I talk to that I let within even on the peripheral level of my of of my life that I am not beneficial to being a friend to. I am always beneficial to be in your life. Absolutely. Without a doubt. I, Without a doubt. You improve that with knowledge, with, with comfort, friendship, advice, the whole thing. Uh, Laughs. Whole money, thing. funny, money. Love, knowledge, anything that I got, I'm, I'm generous for. I live in that kind of abundant way. So if, we, if you got girl problems, I'm going to help you. If you got this, if there's somebody I know, I'll hook you up. In general, I live that life. And, and, and I live that life because it's, it, it is my nature. But it's also a situation where I can look at myself in the mirror and go, you're, you're a good dude. You're a stand-up dude. Anybody that tries to say that you're not is a liar. And that's where the confidence comes from. And even though I'm 57 years old and I'm not in the best shape that I am in my my uh, and I'm not a millionaire and I'm not a, I mean, but I, and, and I'm not, you know, what I'm saying I'm not broke, but I mean, I can buy what I want to buy. I mean, I got 26 fur coats and 113 pair of alligator shoes, but that's not the point. The point is that I'm always living my life with the intention on bringing generosity and kindness and knowledge with the imp to, to affect this world in a positive way. And because of that, there's no way that somebody uh, that so if I if I hit on a girl and I get a number and I ask her out, I know that her life will be better for knowing me. Sure. There's no yeah. question in my mind. And I and I doubt very seriously if my life will be better for knowing her. That remains to be seen. I'm open to it, but it I could it could be in aspects and aspects of it. Right. Sometimes a small thing. But, yeah, you're right. In the sense I, that you become. It's, oh, it's you're all, never yeah. going to get as much as a man for sure, even operating at your peak capacity in the best situations. You're never going to get as much back as you put in. It's no different than having kids. It really it really isn't. And people don't like viewing it that way. But that's the reality. Of, that's the responsibility that there is of a man that we pretend doesn't exist. But it does. You're yeah, never going to get as much back, whether it's financial, emotional, whatever it is, 
as as much as you're gonna put out there. Have to regulate her bullshit and and make her feel wanted and make her feel safe. And and there's times when you won't feel safe and she can't reciprocate that. She can't make you feel physically safe. Unless you dating Leslie Jones. Savage look like she got a uh knuckle game. Oh boy. <laughs> It looks like she's got a good handle. I would feel like she's got a good handle. She could, you know, switch from power who, forward to center. Who wants to, who wants to lick that moose knuckle? <laughs> somebody, I guess, right? Because she says uh, somebody's done it. Not really. Not really. That's that's far and few between. Listen, but I don't want to climb Everest, so you know, you need a Sherpa for that for that task. God so, damn. You need you need Anubis to take you from the land of the living to the dead. You need <laughs> you. <laughs> You need, you need a that more than a shirt. You need like a Ouija board. What do you mean, like a pentagram? You need, you need a cyberus, a three-headed dog, <laughs> to keep you safe, take you to Hades. Live. Anyway, the Man. point being, the point being, when you when you are the best version of yourself, you know that any woman, I don't care how fine she is, I don't care how great, how fat the ass is, how big the titties are, you know that be, part of being a man is you being the guy who brings her chick up and I'll, I'll tell you where it also helps um and it's it's tough to say when you're when you're starting out i know when dante first took me under his wing that there was a lot of it's a lot of losses i took and they stung they always hurt they always hurt right as i got better at it as i was putting myself out there more and more when i did get some wins under my belt uh it was easier to take the rejection it was also it was easier to take the rejection because I'm like, yeah, I would feel bad for them in a way, like at some point. I, it got to that point where I was like, oh, that's too bad. We really could have had a good time. You Whether saw. I said that out loud, sometimes I said that out loud, sometimes I didn't. But the sentiment was the same where I go, God, we really could have had a lot of fun. You have no fucking idea. But I'm good at luck. a place right now where I go, not only could we have had a fun, you fucked up. Yeah. Uh, you'd yeah. be lucky. I, I mean, I wish you luck to find a dude like me, but I don't think you will. Yeah. I don't. It's not likely you could do it. I I'd be hard pressed if you find a dude who's look. I look. I remember. Here's a quick thing, and then we'll close this out. Uh, Harry's got his girl. Christmas came around, but Christmas was how many days did you spend doing stuff for your girl? Was it four, three days, four days, something oh, like that? Well, yeah, I, it was a lot you of know stuff. Even go to her birthday. Yeah, the birthday how, is a bigger many, thing than how Christmas. Many day, how many days? And by the way, we can go. We don't have to wrap up. We can keep going. This is like a double episode. I'll just cut it up because right. uh, we're yeah. Uh, so my birthday, uh, her birthday. I mean, you know, it's a lot of stuff. A lot of days because women have this thing how they many want. Days it. You do stuff with her. Oh her. God, it, it was probably like four four days of stuff. I got her concert tickets for something. It was gifts. It was like a Friday. She took off. Her birthday was like a Thursday. She did Thursday. Took off Friday. We did breakfast. You know, lunch. We did. You know, we went to see some live music other than the concert, the gifts, the this whole thing. You know, dinners. Uh, here's what I would say, God. Uh, but uh, I'm saying Godfrey. I'm losing my mind. That's right. But <laughs> um, I uh, literally, Harry had been taking Intel the whole time. She all would go, year long. I love this band. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in his phone memo all year long. Anytime she mentions she likes something, you put it in the phone. He might have put it. The title might have been my girl's bullshit, but it doesn't matter what he titled. I don't it. know if I titled it that, but it could be that. A.K.A. I think I, it was it was gifts for my girl, bullshit. A.K.A. her bullshit. This bullshit. D.I.S. Bullshit. But that doesn't matter. I mean, the point is that it's not relevant to you. It's relevant to her, which is where the empathy comes from. So it was like, oh, you really like this man. Oh, you like, oh, I like this shirt. I like this. Boom, boom, boom. So that when her birthday came time, that there were so many thoughtful, not necessarily expensive. I mean, he spent some no, so, a little dough. It wasn't his girl. A little bit, but not crazy. Nothing crazy. But I mean, but, it added up. It was, it was thoughtful. Yeah. It was thoughtful. It, the gifts were, I listen to you. I see you. I hear you. I'm listening. A little book off Amazon doesn't. It costs 15 bucks. But the fact that I remembered. Yes. Is what matters. Harry, she had... used to do, when she was in Cali, Harry used to do Netflix watch. I don't know if y'all see on Netflix where you could share the movie where y'all both watch. They would she would be in Cali. He would be and they would watch a movie and be on the phone with each other. If you love what we're doing here. 
Go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips, and also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. And don't get me wrong. You, you may have a girl that you do these things for, and then she doesn't appreciate it. But sure. here's what would happen. The next dude, you know what we should do? We should do like a watch party together. We can watch him. What? Do what? Yo, I Yo, ain't. Oh, that's well. gay, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but but you also do things that, but you also, Harry's also a dude who would say, Yo, I don't want to watch that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, we've had that conversation because sometimes she'll put some show on or something. And, uh, you know, she likes a lot of reality shows and it's and I'm like, I'm not I'm not into watching this. And then she'll ask me vibes of Orange County. or something. Oh, yeah, that type of shit. It's a lot of murder mystery stuff, murder documentaries. I'm like, uh, if you catch me in a mood, but a lot of like also singing competitions, whatever it is, yeah. there's just stuff that she puts on. And I go, I don't I'm not into that. I'm not into I'm not, and there was a time that you get some brushback because you get brushback even from the good ones. It doesn't <laughs> stop. It's all the same pattern. It's just how much you tolerate and how much you allow. The yeah. same things that the awful ones do are the same things that the good ones do, just on a on a lower level scale, right? So we got into a thing where she started giving me some shit about it, where she goes, uh, "Well, I don't want. Why can't we watch these things together?" Mm. I go, "If you want to watch something together, I would love to watch something together, but I know what I like and I know the things that I don't like." And there's plenty of things that we both like. And I would never make you sit through something you didn't like. She doesn't like wrestling, right? She No, she's into it like on occasion. But she's not as a big fan. What's so the she, thing that she's not into that you're into? God, what would be a thing? Uh, I'm trying to think. Sitcoms. She hates sitcoms. Okay. She doesn't like them. She doesn't get them. Mm. She doesn't. You know, so I would watch Seinfeld. And I we watched an episode. She didn't dig them. Guess what? We never watched. I never made her watch another episode of Seinfeld ever right. again. Right? Just uh, I'm trying to think. I forget off the top of my head. But, but just her certain. perspective was, why don't you want to like? Why don't you like this? Why can't you watch the stuff that I want to watch together? Why can't we do it together? And your response is, I don't like that. Yeah. Let's find. I'm and I have and I'm not gonna. But here's what guys will do. Shout out to academics. You will do whatever, even though you don't like it, because and and maybe in some cases you're like. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck as long as I get a chance to spend time with her. But what what you're also saying is, is that what makes me happy is not important. It doesn't matter. Not it even. Matter. And it's also fair. It's empathetic to say, look, if you're not into wrestling, I, I'm not going to make you watch wrestling. But I'm not going to not watch wrestling sure. because you either. And I'm not going to ask you not to watch Housewives of Orange County or or, or, I didn't tell you to turn it off. I didn't tell I, her to turn it off. But I just I'm, did my own thing. I'm either going to be on my phone or reading a book. I'm not into this. And I'm not going to pretend that I'm into this. And that's okay. But and but th it's funny because you get this brush back because it's not about logic. It's about emotions. Because right. I made a very logical presentation saying, I, I don't, but, I don't like this. Saying? What is the subtext of what she's saying? You don't like my shows, so you don't love me. I need you to like my shows to prove that you love me. Why don't, why we don't have nothing in common, which is ridiculous. We have sure. something in common, we, but we're also separate individual people and we have- different. And we have, then there's plenty of things we can do together that we like. I would never make somebody else watch something that they don't like together. Yeah. If you don't like horror films, we're not watching horror films. If you don't like sci-fi, we're not watching sci-fi. We're gonna, there are things we can both like. And if we can't find something we both like, then this is, this relationship's no good to begin with. And What's I had a chick that was I was synced up with everything. And you I won't say her name because she's got a new boyfriend or whatever, but like Harry knows I I we we were so synced up and I dug her so much, horror films and everything. We had the same sense of humor, same shit. We she hated people like I hated people, which is perfect. Mm -hmm. But then she, she was kind of asexual. She didn't want to fuck. I mean, yeah. I she wanted to fuck, but not really. Like she didn't want to. She didn't want to like lay it down, but I was, you know, like, you know, sex for me was was an expression of the connection that we had, you know, and so that's how I am. It's like, man, I, 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 
I'm so glad that we, this is somebody that I can share these things with and that we have so much in common that I want to express myself through do all these things. I mean, because I do all the all the special things I take. I know what size bra you have. I know what kind of panties you wear. I know what you like. I know what foods you like. If I know what you don't like, I know what you do like. I'm 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 always considering those things. Um, I, I remember us going. I mean, we were I, we were actually talking to Godfrey, and we Godfrey got a call from to, to live Kuali, and he was performing at the um at the blue note. Right. And mm -hmm. I said, well, yo, ask him if he could, if you could add two to the guest list. And he goes, yeah, sure. I called him back. She said, yeah, sure. So she got all dressed up, met me downtown. We went to the blue note. Right now when I rock and Harry will testify to this, I do, I don't do nothing unless it's first class. Yeah. You'd rather not do it. And I'm and, the same way. I, I'm not a line. I don't wait online. I'd rather not go. If and, it's and, not comfortable, I don't want to be there. It was, not, yeah. it was like fine hanging out at the bar. It was packed out. It was lines around the corner. Yeah, we got in, but we were standing by the bar. And I was like, we ain't going to no table. We ain't going to the green room. Like what? Like I'm because my assumption was that um that, you know, he rocks like I rock. And so was she. So she put her six inch heels on. She got all cute. Blah, blah, blah. Now her feet hurts. My back hurts. She looks at me and goes, yo, let, yo, next song, let's get out of here. I said, you know what? Um, I know your feet hurt. Um, let's get out of here now. I'm going to leave. Just give me, go to the bathroom, do whatever you're going to do. I'll meet you. I'll bring the car up so you don't have to walk in the car. And I'll bring the car up and then we can leave. As soon as we, just uh, look outside, I'll, I'll, I'll be outside with the car. That's how we rocked. But even with all of those things that was in sync, sex for me was a non-negotiable. So as much as I, I I was I miss and I still miss her today. I miss all of those things, but I knew that sex was non-negotiable, and it was it wasn't personal. It was just that's just not who she was. She just wasn't a very sexual person. And it just didn't. It's just not going to work for you. And maybe because it was that's some. Maybe it was because I was married too. That might have been. <laughs> yeah, but she knew that. She yeah, but I, yeah, but you know that I think no, she, there's other that, elements. Yeah, she knew that with the. And I thought about this the other day. I I think she knew that, but the, it was she was with me with the intention of being with me, and maybe if I wasn't married, then it would be. Mm, you're you're as an outsider looking, and I'm going to tell you this: that it was a lot of indecisiveness. That's that's the last thing that it became. But there well, was a lot I, of indecisiveness I, I, well, before, is. during, and after. Yeah, but when we was first hooked up and we was rocking, it was filthy. Like the sex was like it was all about it, you know. It was like it was it was all about it, and then it became this issue. And that might then it might maybe I'm maybe I'm in 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 retrospect I'm looking at a different doesn't even matter. But the point was at the point when I when I realized that we were not on the same page sexually, and I decided that, and I say this all the time, relationships are very simple understand what your non-negotiables are and then never negotiate them. But in order to know what your non-negotiables are, you have to be honest with yourself. If you're, you know, if, if you're marrying somebody and, and you like a blowjob, right? And you marry her and then all of a sudden she's not giving blowjobs or she don't like to do it or she don't want to do it or she don't want to learn. So don't marry her if blowjobs, unless you want to live the rest of your life without getting a blowjob. Because it's as you get married, it's not going to get better. It never gets better. Now, I'm trying to think when you say non-negotiable, right? I think I'm at this point, it's so instinctually great ingrained in me. I'm trying to figure out what is my non-negotiable when I go, no, I'm not watching that. Like when when she goes, hey, you know, I got this. Uh, I'm watching this uh, reality show where they saw, you know, like uh, they have to figure out who the mole is. Uh, it's called the mole. <laughs> I don't know why I was struggling for the word of the show. It's the mole. The mole. And I was like, I have no what interest in that. Is look for the mole. You, you got to look for the mole. <laughs> right. And so when I go, no, what is my non-negotiable? The non-negotiable I... is, listen, I have your, what you're saying is I have no problem with you independently liking to do something you like in this something or you having an interest outside of mine. You're not going to force me. To but do I am something not that I don't enjoy forced to do something I don't want to do. Unless, of course, you're asking me for a favor. But. We will know, we will know and understand what your, your non-negotiable is just equal respect. I guess you you could put yeah. that in the category of equal respect. I don't mind that you watch it, but you're not going to make me watch it. Yeah. Making and I don't, mind, I don't mind that you don't want to watch wrestling or whatever I'm into. Yeah. 
and I'm not going to make you watch it. And I'm also the other thing I don't want to do is I'm not going to pretend. Right. Don't we're not going to do a thing where I have to pretend that I enjoy something because that's, you know, and I'm making it this I'm only highlighting the worst stuff because this is the stuff that fixes the other people's relationships because yeah. it's great. It's just those little moments that matter because what you don't want what I fear more than anything is being one of those fucking couples where the husband has to go, well, I guess we got to watch uh, This Is Us or whatever show that I don't give a fuck about. Right. That's what we're doing. I don't have a say in the matter. Like you see those couples, you see them when they get older. Yeah. All right, we gotta, we're got we watching Law and Order. That's what we're watching. Right. Like, I just don't want to be that couple where I pretend that, that, that uh, you know, it, I'm- it, She doesn't respect you more for it. In fact, no. she respects you more for standing up and saying, this is who I am as a person and who I am as a person matters. Who who I say I am, who I who I I, I truthfully say I am, and if when if we are not, if you can't deal with who I am in a real sense, in a real place, then we don't we could just not be together. That's always an option, and understanding that that's a not a, that is an option that we don't have to be together. Here's the thing: nobody should have to be together. You should want to be together. This is why whenever you ask a woman. You want to get married? She goes, yeah, I want to get married. It's a weird question to ask because what you're ultimately saying is, um, do I want to get married? Yes. Do you want to get married is not the question. It's who do you want to get married? Is there somebody that you can find that's going to that you're going to be able to mesh with? Are you willing to make the sacrifices with that person? And you don't want to marry everybody. So it's you like. Yeah. You, you shouldn't want to marry everybody. You shouldn't want to just what I, I guess what I'm saying is a woman shouldn't want to be married for the sake of marriage. You got to find your person and you got to figure out what your non-negotiables are and match up. And then that because because if you have a vested if she has a, only has a vested interest in, in marriage as an institution, she's not going to have a vested interest in you. Mm. And she's ultimately not going to make the sacrifices and the compromises that me need to be made to make the marriage work. So the marriage is not going to work. So then that leaves you as the man that you have to make those compromises. And now you don't you you are not who you are. You don't do the things that you do. You can't be honest about what you want to do. You're running and you're hiding behind the couch because every time she gets angry, you know, I hear this. Oh, my girl is a is a is a as a, a Irish redhead who's crazy or she's a crazy Latino. Or, I don't what what you're saying to me is my girl is disrespectful and she doesn't respect me enough to be respectful. And I'm too scared to say, look, bitch, either you're going to be my happiness is either going to be as important to you as it is to me. Otherwise, we're not going to be together because we cannot be together. We could just not. I could I could do this by myself and I'd rather do it by myself peacefully. Yeah. I'm not going to I'd rather rather be peace and quiet. That's all I'd rather have than than crazy okay. insanity. I'm not doing that. There's not doing it. There's plenty of hermits and caves that are living a great life. Yeah. Um so you know just keep that in mind. It's the the principles have become so crystallized and so simple. Um, and every, t every no matter at whatever lesson we talk about it, whatever we thought, it always refers refers back to the same principles over and over and over again. Um, I had a, one of one of my dudes uh, called me up and he was like, you know, I got a date with this girl, and she wanted to. She she was like, well, uh, you know, that he because he's listening to me because he's calling, he's using the phone more, right? Calling the girl up and she said, well, I could talk to you tomorrow, and he says. Ask me, is it okay that I tell her that I have a date? I go, it's absolutely okay that you tell her you have a date. I said, what's your relationship with this girl? Oh, I, I just met her on we were on one of the apps and we were texting back and forth. So the absolute thing that you should say, you absolutely say, I don't, well, I can't, I can't talk tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I got a date. Or I can only talk before such and such and such. I got a date that evening, so I can't talk in the evening. Be honest about it. And he said, yeah, but, you know, but the thing is, the, the, the fear is that the fear is usually that if I tell her I have another date, then she won't want to date me. And, you know, I said to him, you just be honest, follow the principles. And he I, we were talking about it on the phone and he had texted her. You know, I got a date, such and such and such and such. And I go and I'm explaining. He goes, oh, well, I didn't tell you this, but she texted me back. You know what? She texted me back. What's that? He goes, 
how's the dating scene in 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 New York? Is it she's questioning because what he's saying is I'm not hiding the fact that I'm dating other people. So he's mm -hmm. basically saying I'm honest. I'm an honest person. And, you know, I'm not saying that I can't be we can't be in a relationship, but, I'm, but we ain't now. And you haven't proven yourself. You haven't proven yourself to, for me to to make any compromises other than the fact that I, I'm going to keep my word. We're supposed to hook up on him next week. You want to talk to I can't talk to him. I'm busy. Just like when he called her, she texted him. I'm, I'm at work. Um, can I call you tomorrow? She didn't drop everything and go in the bathroom and say, hey, baby, I'm, I'm working. But she didn't do that. She said, I'll call you tomorrow. Hmm. So if she can decide what's important to her. He can he can decide what's what's important to her. Thank you, Patreon. Y'all are the best motherfuckers in the world. I appreciate you, though, supporting us, man. I, I really want to say I thank you all, because if, if if it's not for y'all, uh, I wouldn't be able to do this. I can't. We couldn't pay for the Internet and the cameras and the equipment and and keep us going and do this i mean this takes a lot of time don't forget man I'm, i've been doing this the live with godfrey uh before godfrey at 8 30 on tuesdays and i've been doing a couple of extras i'm probably going to pick another day where i can go uh live and do some question and answering um I'm trying to figure out what day it is so that i can make it pretty consistent but yo i love y'all man um please uh, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Y'all know what it is. Y'all are in a fam family. This is a movement. We're a family and a movement, and we want this movement to grow so we can stop this simping and all this fucking nonsense. This just drives me, makes my head explode. Love y'all, man. Um, we out of here. Peace. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.